Hi, I'm Diana, and I'm from the Plymouth Spa Tech here in Massachusetts, and I'm going to show you how to get the perfect brow tips, techniques, and tricks. So there are a few guidelines that you want to go by to get the perfect brow. You might have clients come in that have their brows go all the way through the middle, and we wax the middle area, but in order to judge where you need your brows to end right there, we usually we go by the bridge of the nose. So, I can take, for example, this stick. Yeah, bridge of your nose is right there. So that's where we'd want to start waxing. You don't want to go in too much um, because your brows accentuate um, your face. So basically, if you go too far, it's going to change their expression. Um, then, the iris of the eyes, can you open your eye? That's where the color is on the outside, that's where the arch should be. And then the outside of the brow, you go from the outside of the nostril up, and that's where it should end. And that's how you get the perfect brow. Okay, so I've already consulted with the client. Um, we've prepped her eyebrows already, we've cleansed them and powdered them. So you want to make sure that you talk to your client and you know exactly what they want. So if you can look through the mirror for me. And here is an orange stick. If you can tell me exactly what you want. Just write one from there. You will all check the mirror and just pretty much clean them up a little bit. Okay. And you want the middle done? Yes. You never want to guess what the person wants done. You never want to do more than what the person wants done. Make sure it's exactly what they want. Um, a tip is you can use a disposable spoolie and you want to roll it down and whatever extra hairs there are, those are what you cut off. The reason you brush down is so you don't get that dramatic line. Some people, if they brush it up and they cut it that way, it's going to look real too sharp on natural. So the good thing about these spoolies are they're disposable, which it's nice because some makeup kits, they come with a brush that are used for the brows or the eyelashes, but you can't really use those on clients and they're hard to clean. So these you can throw out afterwards. On this eye, here's a tip. Um, you can use a white, just an eye pencil like eyeliner and draw out what she wants done. So if you see this line right here, that's basically where I'm going to stop. I'm not going to go any thinner than that. So you get your orange stick. I've already tested this on my wrist. You want to make sure it's not too hot because you can burn the client or yourself. Hold the eye up. And just place the wax like so. I'm going to use the new plant. Make sure it's not too thick or it can pull the skin up. I'm using the other side of the orange stick to pull any of the stray hairs that I didn't get into the wax, pull them down into the wax, which is good because then you don't have to go too close with the wax, and it's better to take off less hair than more hair, because you can always take off more with tweezing. You don't want to re-wax over an area that you've already waxed, because that can whip the skin as well. And you never want to double dip with an orange stick. These are disposable. Throw it out, use a new one if you need to go over another part of the face. So here's a fabric strip. You can use muslin if you want. I'm going to put that on like so. Rub it a few times so the wax sticks. Hold the skin taut and pull up. Put pressure that helps take away the stain. Another 
tip that I need to mention that's important. When you're placing the wax down, you want to put it towards the hair growth over it. You know, the way that the hair grows, you want to put it on that way, never against the hair growth. But then when you're pulling up with a strip, you need to go against the hair growth. And that will help get the hair. So if you can see the difference already. And when we use the spoolie and the scissors to turn the eyebrow hairs, it already kind of helped give more definition in a clean cut look. So we're just cleaning up around that area now. Okay, so I've finished waxing both eyebrows. Now you want to give the hand mirror to your client. Make sure that they definitely like what you've done with their brows. See if there's anything else that they would like done. So I haven't gone in and tweezed, so there are a few stray hairs. So is, are there a few that you would like taken out? Yeah. Can you show me where? Make sure that they tell you exactly where. Okay. With tweezing, you need to pull the hair out the way that the growth comes out. You're not going to pull against the hair growth like you would with waxing. And we look under the loop plate because we can see the little fine baby hairs that are missed. Since this is 30 times magnifying. Like I said, if you miss any hair, you can't wax over a spot that you've already waxed, so you need to go in and tweeze. So I finished her brows and I've consulted with her to make sure that they're the way that she definitely likes. There's no more that she wants taken off. Um, and we're going to use an after waxing oil, not only to clean any wax that's left over, but to soothe the area 